I had the feeling throughout time that I knew I wanted to do something with images and tell stories through images. So I decided to start my career in documentary films. I'm experiencing people who are real, but yet I'm still in the cinema world. I just love to have films that feel real, that feel authentic. There's the technical part of it, and there's the emotional part of cinematography. And I have to really know what is the technical part way before the shooting, so that I master this and I get able to forget about this part. I'm here to show and to represent what the actors are, and what the emotions are, and what the characters are. And choosing the equipment comes for me at an even further stage where after I've known what the language is and what the rhythm of the film is, where I talk again about the movie with the director and try to figure out is this film something rough, something clean? What is the distance between a spectator and the actors? And then I discovered the Sony Venice, with which I shot my last feature film and the current feature film. Having worked with the Sony Venice camera before, I had the feeling this camera gives me some more freedom in terms of I can detach the sensor out of it, the colors are amazing, and the fact that I can work on 4K or 6K, I can use the full format camera, but at the same time I can also use my anamorphic lenses on it. So I found all the tools that I needed to use on this film and that camera. I'm shooting pretty much all the, like the whole movie on 2500 as a, as a base sensitivity and it's performing very, very well, yeah. I can have uh, more freedom on, on low light scenes and play with lights that come from candles easily. The film I'm currently shooting is on the Class X lenses, which are two times anamorphic lenses. So we're using the Super 35 mm 4x3 sensor for most of my shots. But what's exciting about the camera is that for landscapes or for frames that look bigger and more detailed, I'm using the 6K format. I just love to have the integrated filters because I'm using four to five filters a day. If I had another camera, I would have to put the filters in and I'm really grateful to having that.